If you're looking for some design inspiration, in today's video, we're gonna look at five incredible websites that I think all designers need to take a look at. Let's go ahead and get started. The first website we're gonna take a look at is seed.com, and this is a nice e-commerce site. They're selling this probiotic, and the thing I really like about this site is that they do a really good job of drawing the user's eye to the center of the screen where they're gonna reveal their product. As you scroll down, they're gonna have this image sequence that's animating on the scroll, kind of representing those microbes, and also giving a nice splash of color right before they reveal their main product. A good first three sections of this e-commerce site. Another thing I really liked was the product pages themselves. I like how they have a nice clean page, minimal white background contrasting that green, it really makes the product stand out. I also like how they're not giving you too much information to digest. They have the heading on the left, they have some basic information on the product. As you click through the arrows, you get some nice quality product photos. And then they have the start now, the main call to action right here in green in the bottom right. Definitely a website to take a look at for some high quality product photos and interactions. Here's one of a pill collapsing. I think this one's really cool as well. And if we go all the way down to the bottom of the page, right before their call to action, they have this nice block section showcasing some high quality product photos and videos right before their final call to action to purchase the product. Really good e-commerce site to take a look at. I think I forgot to mention that the links to all the websites featured in today's video will be down in the description below. And if while you're taking a look at them, you wanna create a mood board, you're gonna to wanna to check out Milanote, which is sponsoring today's video. Milanote is a bit different than traditional software. It's more like working on a wall in a creative studio. It allows you to map out your projects, gather and organize all of your inspiration in one convenient place. And it also allows you to collaborate with your colleagues or clients in real time. As a full stack designer, it's an essential part of my workflow. And this awesome tool is free. So check out the link at the top of the description. This one is monopo.london. It's a website for this creative agency that is based in London, but it was born in Tokyo. And because of that, they have this nice interaction here with the hover. So as you drag your cursor around, this little glass thing follows you around and it overlays on top of the text, revealing the Japanese version of that. And I assume it means the same thing because the first little bit says watash tachi wa and watash tachi means we. Uh, and I can't read the rest because I have first grade level Japanese abilities and I don't know the kanji for those. But I would assume it says the same thing. Really cool interaction right away. And they got this gradient moving around in the background with the, kind of this grungy overlay on top of it, making it nice and textured. As you scroll down, they just go straight into their projects. They got this cursor change here, view case studies. And then you can scroll down through each one of their projects straight to the footer. If we go to the work page, they have that gradient transition to the next page. And here they're showcasing it in another little section. I really love the aesthetic of this site. Another cool interaction is this little bouncing effect they have on the scroll. So if I just scroll and release, you can see everything kind of bounces at you and then sinks back into position. Then when you hover over one of the projects, you get this nice circle that follows your cursor which reveals another image behind the project's main thumbnail image, which is really cool. Last page I wanna go over is the services page. They have these little gauges throughout the website as you've probably already seen, kind of showing where you're at as you scroll. Uh, but they got some interesting interactions here. They got a nice white and black theme going. So right there, it draws your attention down to the text for each one of these. And then they have some scroll-based interactions such as the text going through. So if you're looking to make a new portfolio page, or you're designing an agency page, I definitely recommend that you check out monopo.london. Here's another good one to take a look at if you're gonna make a portfolio site. This is iumray.com. I hope I pronounced that correctly. He's a front-end developer and a UX UI designer. What I like about the site is the liquid animation, also the minimalist style he's using. And as you scroll down, you'll see this interaction of the image coming to the center of the screen. Clean sections, probably using a grid here. Let's go ahead and go to the About Me page. That liquid animation takes you straight into this page and there's a subtle zoom out on this picture, just adding that extra step of motion to this site. He lists his awards very simply. I've seen this on several sites. I really like how they do this. Just nice and simple, stack all of them on top of each other like this. And I'm not sure if this is supposed to be his foot and up top, this is supposed to be like the body so it like connects or not, but very interesting if it is. There's a few other interactions that I wanna take a look at. So right after the About Me link, there's quite a bit of white space, which I assume draws the user to that link, which is cool. And this is all of the portfolio works. 
So there's a 3D rotation on the text there with this nice liquid animation revealing these pictures. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these. Really cool animation, then it reveals the heading. And then when you scroll down, eventually it's gonna to get to the point where there's just this nice liquid effect on the bottom like this, featuring a bunch of different images for the project. If you're a minimalist or you like minimalistic designs, check out this one for a nice portfolio website. This one is lunchbox.io. This is an operating system for restaurants to use, like putting your menu online, allowing people to order. I like this one because of the illustrated style and the color choice, this nice bright yellow in the back of the hero section that leads down into these black sections. And I really like how they've chose the primary color of the website to be yellow, that's nice. And just by using these illustrations to kind of fill some of the white space on the website, it's really nice. This is a really stylized website. It's more fun. So if you're looking for something with a lot of illustrations that blends well into a site that has a very unique aesthetic, I would definitely check this one out. The site starts on yellow and then ends in a yellow section with a nice big call to action button. Pretty cool site. That's lunchbox.io. This last site is Laron Moran Dash Interiors. I hope I pronounced that correctly. This is a design boutique focusing on tailor-made office spaces. I really like this site. It's got a lot of cool interactions without going too over the top. I think the usability of this site's really nice. You take a look at this first one with this nice little watercolor effect as you hover over this image. And then they've got the image itself layered on top of the text. And then I can scroll down and they've got three different sections and it just keeps going infinitely if I keep scrolling down, which is cool. When you go to view all projects, it's got these transitions throughout the site with those rectangles. They changed the cursor to say drag, letting you know you can do that. You can also scroll to navigate this. It's a nice horizontal layout to showcase all of their projects in various different size images. And then when you hover over them, it changes the other projects to this negative black and white look, really highlighting the image you're hovering. Throughout the site, you'll see the text slide in like that. And you can scroll down and they've got all of their images on this nice grid layout, just showing you each individual picture. Instead of a boring tiled layout, they're kind of mixing it up. And then you can go to the next one or back to the top. Really good UX there. Finally, if we take a look at the navigation, I'm a big fan of these full screen navigations. On this one, they're flipping the text back. I think this is the first time I've seen that. That's pretty cool. And then in the bottom right, they're changing the number there, letting you know what page you're on. Let's go to the contact page. Everything slides down and then everything slides back into view. Just one section with a gigantic call to action. They use these throughout as well. If we go to the about section, all the way down to the call to action button, which again is a gigantic button for contacting them. Really cool site to take a look at. That is laronmoran-interiors.com. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And with that, that's gonna do it for today's video. That is all five websites that I think you need to see for some awesome design inspiration. Let me know what you think of the sites in the comments down below. Thanks to Millinote for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to check out their product for planning your next creative project, check out the link at the top of the description. I hope these amazing designs inspired you to go and create something awesome. And if you wanna learn how to design and build sites like this, check out some of these videos. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.